Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today I'm excited to share a new digital audio workstation called Open Door Video. I support this project because I believe everyone should have a free tool to make music. Open Door does not need any login, subscription or payment. It will be open source and works on every platform. Some free DAWs do exist, but many come with limits. For example, Ardua is free only if you compile the source code for yourself. And you must pay to download the binaries, for example. Others need you to log in or charge for full features. So Open DAW is different. It is completely open and free for everyone. And this is why I became a donor and supporter. Another great thing is that Open Door runs in your web browser. This means you can use it anywhere, even on a school computer or any basic device. So it's perfect for education, right? So let's talk a bit about the creator first here. The name is Andre Michel. So he's the developer of Open Door and he's not an unknown name, right? He created a lot of different projects over the years, for instance, also Audio Tour. So he created this thing and worked on Audio Tool for over 16 years. And he left in 2023 for, you know, differences in um, kind of uh, differences in the mission or the vision of the project. So he wanted to keep things open and free. So that's why he left the company, his own company more or less, and started Open Door, right? So he created Audio Tool. Probably a lot of, a lot of people already know Audio Tool. Um, then he also have some, he has some a lot of experiences in web development, also here with uh, wave editing in the browser and uh, creating virtual instruments in the browser, also sound um, design or sound experiments, and also here some modular environments also in the browser. So he has a lot of knowledge um, collected over the years with creating uh, such projects. So that's probably important to know for you. And that's also why I became a supporter and kind of involved in the project because I saw when we talked about everything um, that we have or share the same vision, the same ideas, and we have the same values, right? So. I believe music should be open and not just about making money. I knew from the start that I wanted to be involved and what you see with Open Door today is only a first version. It's a prototype that shows what is coming next. Think of it as a small taste of what will be and an invitation to support the project. Open Door is made for everyone from beginners to experts to enjoy making music without high costs or limits. If you want to join this journey and support the project, now is a great time to get involved. There is currently a prototype party running in the Discord. You can also go to the project. You can try out the prototype for yourself. I show you here in a minute how it works. So the first thing you want to do is to join the Discord of Open Door because there's currently an Open Door prototype party running. Currently, as of now, and you can join, you can ask questions. There's a prototype tour and there's a future outlook and a hangout later on. I'm probably also joining. So Discord, the link is in the description below. Just make sure you join it, right? Because we need feedback, we need ideas, we need testing and so on. It's pretty important. Um, then I want to show you here uh, the URL. It's opendoor.studio and you can just open up the door inside of your browser and you probably want to use Chrome. Make sure you have the latest version, go to help um, and then make sure here everything is up to date. Um, that's pretty important. Um, then this is how it looks like. That's the dashboard. You can also increase the scaling. You can use control and plus to scale it up or minus to make it smaller, right? Um, then you can open up here certain projects. So Sunset is one of my projects. Here Breeze is one of my projects. Shafted is one of my projects. Also Seek Deeper is one of my projects. So you can open up this uh, thing here if you don't want to create something from scratch. So let's open up this one here. And then you go into the project. 
And there are at the top here certain things. So we have a transport here, right? We can change the BPM, um, stop, play, and so on. There's also MIDI access. When you press it, you are greeted with some kind of um, modal or pop-up that you have to uh, allow the browser to access your MIDI keyboard. Um, at the moment, you can't record. Um, as I said, it's just very basic functionalities. It's not much in there. Um, then on the left side, you have a, we have a browser. You can open up the browser by double clicking here, this menu button, or just use B on the keyboard. Uh, the browser allows you to insert here a tape and a vaporizer, which is a very, very basic synthesizer. Tape is basically to play samples. Um, then we have here a sample browser with a search bar on top. So you can search for my samples if you want to and can just, you know, track this in if you want to. Um, so this is the browser, very basic. Then we have here the timeline. Then we have an editor. So you can double click here, for instance, on this note clip and you can see uh, the notes in there. You can scale it or zoom in or zoom out. You can make this clip longer, right? Um, so when you have this at this position, you can see here, then it's looping and then you can, um, yeah, clone, uh, the pattern in here. You can also move down with the cursor. You can see here, the cursor is changing slightly, which means you make, um, the clip size bigger. Um, it makes sense if, when you play around with it. Uh, maybe also increase the scaling a bit. The editor, you can also close down by double clicking here, this small little icon or use E on the keyboard. Also devices here, you can choose D, make this smaller. And then you have full kind of view of the timeline here. You can also zoom in and uh, scroll around. Then we have here something like a, a mixer section. So when I hit play. So this is the master fader here. We can also rename already here these kind of uh, tracks or channels. And you can go back here to the timeline. Increase contrast is possible. We have here metronome. We can change the, the BPM. There's also stretching in here. If you drag in some samples, um, you have stretching. Uh, by the way, you can't use your own samples. At the moment, there's no upload. You have to use um, these predefined samples here, but it's coming, right? Like I said, it's a prototype. Keep it in mind, right? Um, so yeah, the mixing section here is already in place. We have a modular section because if you have opened up here the devices panel and you go, for instance, here to this um, synthesizer here, we can insert here a new MIDI effect or audio effect. It's a bit different than in Bitwig. You have to choose basically here this device and then you can add an audio effect after this device or a MIDI effect in front. So you can add here an arpeggiator and delete this or you can use an audio effect. At the moment there are only three audio effects or actually two delay and reverb. So it's not much. Uh, 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 three and uh, sorry, it's an EQ. We can also add here an EQ. So um, yeah, delay reverb and EQ. Then there's here a new modular audio effect that's also in the works currently. You can add it and it looks like this. We can also create your already in delay, connect these inputs and outputs. So it's already there, but it's not, you know, it needs a lot of work. It's just one developer. Um, it's in prototype state, like I said. Um, you can also remove this. So yeah, there's also a modular system coming like the grid in Bitwig Studio, everything in the browser. It's pretty dope, actually. Um, you can also see here, this works pretty flawlessly and pretty clean. Um, let me open up here um, this again. So let's say we have here the base, right? We can, I'm already modulating this here. 
you can right click for instance here on something and you can say create automation and then it creates here a new track uh, it's actually here and then you double click here to create a new kind of uh, modulation clip you go into it and then you see here we have at this position 500 hertz double click here and then you create kind of a curve and then you automate this so there's no modulation at the moment there are no lfos or anything like this it's just pure automation um so all of this kind of works um yeah, maybe I do something here fresh. Maybe you can also save and open from your hard drive. I did this a lot um, when I tested this uh, open door uh, the last weeks. So save uh, saves basically some kind of XML or JSON file to your hard drive. And by the way, this is, yeah, like I said in the beginning of the intro, it's not like you have a login or an account or anything like this it's just you download javascript and then you execute this application locally on your pc you can even probably download the whole javascript thing and make it completely local without using the internet at all and then exporting and loading in json or data files um, so let's go back to the dashboard here make new then we can open up the browser and maybe you can insert the tape here, the lead tape, or go to samples. Let's use one of my samples here. I have a drone. So we drag this in. We have a drone at uh, 85 BPM. That's probably a uh, half time here. So we can go down here and drag it here. So it's pitched up. So it's a, it's a stretching already in place. can see here the tape um, so the audio track is basically also an instrument it's it's unlike uh, in uh, Bitwig where you have audio tracks and instrument tracks here everything is kind of an instrument track and if you drag audio in you play it back here with the tape machine um, I saw already some mock-ups or some um, experimental things here where you can change certain things on the tape how it plays back and how it sounds uh, but it's coming at some point um, so let's insert here an EQ so let's right click and say create automation clip so we have an automation here and we make something creative so we want to pull down here the low cut and then we make it super short, something like this. So it repeats here. Well, let's make make it this one bar and a half. Right, so you can be kind of creative with this actually that we have an audio engine is pretty new um, in December or January there wasn't any audio engine it was just graphically so we added this in one month so we have something to show off um, for this prototype party so this is pretty fresh pretty early it's not like something you want to use to make music at the moment but it's coming right it's just so for you you can play around it get a taste of how it feels like and how it looks like okay um yeah please make sure you join the discord 
um, the prototype party and ask some questions and maybe you are interested. So maybe support the project. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I want to show you this. Um, it's a nice project I really like and I support. And um, leave a like if you like the video. Ask me questions in the comments. I don't know. See you next time. Thanks for watching and bye.